wow, wow, wow. If you were like me and you're trying to find a video of a Fuji X-T4 user um, deciding on getting an X-T5 or the Fuji X-H2S, I got the S. This video is gonna be for you. Okay, I, if you've been on this channel for a little while, you know and love the fact that I do real life business usability videos for the equipment that I use. It's stuff that I'm using for paid clients. So when I tell you I was shopping for like the longest time on this camera, uh, I'll get every darn video and the specs honestly did nothing for me. You know, what I needed was that X-T4, because I have an X-T4, what I needed was that X-T4 user that got this camera to show me what you love about it compared to the X-T4 that I already have. After all, the body is different, you know. I understand the PASM dial, the custom option settings. It still has the flip screen, which I love, actually. It helps me out big time, you know, because I do a lot of, I like to hold the camera like this a lot, you know, and I can put it at any angle that I want. And uh, so I got this camera, okay? My daughter got into her college and last weekend was her sorority um, a day where she realized what sorority she has, it's a big deal. Hundreds of girls like run in the streets to their sorority house. It's really, really cool. And let me tell you my most exciting feature, honestly. If you're like me, if you're a hybrid photographer, if you enjoy getting uh, short clips of video for yourself, for your YouTube channel, maybe for your client. Um, oh dear Lord in heaven. Look, see that little red button right there? See the shutter? See the red button? Yeah, taking pictures. You ready for this? Let me see if I can show you. Okay. Oh, that's amazing. Watch this, the light's off, right? Record. Yay, record, stop recording. Awesome. Take pictures. <gasps> That is the difference of the CF Express card. It's the SanDisk 128 Extreme Pro. It's fast, okay? And when I tell you I was just curious to see the difference of write speed, yeah, there's a reason why you need these cards in these kind of cameras, okay? This thing I have set to shoot at 4K 60 automatically. Like my XC4 that I love, how I could program, it, it's hot, it, it's hot over here, y'all in New Orleans, by the way, sorry if you see me all sweaty. Um, my studio is upstairs in the building, heat rises, so uh, it's a thing. But I loved how my XC4, I can customize the buttons on the back and the swipes for my immediate go-to menu features. I have my custom button set to when I hit the AEL, the auto exposure lock, I changed that to be my video, I have to scroll up for my 120, okay, my high speed, my slow motion, you know, setting, uh, and then turn it off. So that's regular recording, and if I wanna go ahead and, and go, wait, I want some slow-mo footage right now. Boom, slow-mo, all right? Let me put it back. This is how I keep it. So every time I have this thing set up to where I'm taking pictures and I wanna get some video, when I press that red button, it's shooting the last thing that I told it to do on the menu system, which was 4K 60, okay? You have to see this. I have never been so blown away by the focusing power. If this is what the Sony users have been talking about, their AF system being dominant, I get it. Now I get it. I finally get it because this uh, double stacked, sensor 
making everything much quicker for your write speed and your focusing. The focusing algorithm in here is ridiculous. Now, just a heads up, I'm not gonna edit this video a whole lot because I have a lot to say in a very little bit of time for you, okay? Um, when I got this camera, it is, the firmware was at 2.0. Do not upgrade the firmware to the 5.1 that it's at right now. Today is what, August, it's like the end of August 2023, okay? Um, at 5.0 and 5.1 from what I was looking at on videos, people were complaining about the focusing doesn't work anymore. That kind of scared the mess out of me, honestly, on getting the camera. I was praying, it's the first thing I did when I got the camera was look at the firmware and pray it wasn't at 5.0 or above, is it was at 2.0. Leave it alone. If your camera works, leave it alone. Unless it's some kind of bug you're having and you know, you understand firmware stuff. But when I tell you 2.0 version on this S is the absolute best camera I've ever had in my hands. When I tell you I was working video and stills and turning off face detection on and off, like I usually do, like you do if you have an X-T4, and this thing just blows me away. Now, talking about the face detection, how this thing focuses, okay? When you have the eyes turned on, all you have to do is aim in that direction. If there are eyes, if there's a head in the picture anywhere, it's gonna find it. Your square, your focusing square, does not have to be on the subject. If your eyes are turned on, it will find the eyes and track it really, really good. Waiting for the sunshine. Waiting for the sunshine. I just wanted to release this video quickly. I'm gonna do more of an intense follow-up on different features, that way the videos aren't so long. But if you are me, XC4 we're looking at which one to go to, like what is my quote unquote upgrade Fuji camera, get the S, do not upgrade the firmware if it's at 2.0, okay? I'm sure they're gonna fix this eventually, but as of right this second, 5.1 or whatever it's at um, is not doing well with the focusing. 2.0, this thing is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. And the file size is the same. And the reason why I wasn't worried about the, um, the bigger, the 40 meg file from the X-T5 or the H, the reason why I wasn't worried about that is because, one, you really honestly can't see that much of a difference in the file. When you're looking at it on your screen, you really can't. So why double the size of your images and lose all that storage that now you have to buy and clean your computer more often and it's a whole thing. I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to add a camera to the bag that can give me the same quality as my X-T4, which I love still, by the way. Love of my XT4. Same file size, so none of my rest of my storage workflow changes, but this camera, <gasps> this camera is gonna be my new main camera, okay? That's, that's all I can say. I do have more to come. I'm gonna show you some images and some video, whatever I have on here, but if you are considering from the XT4 to a camera, Get the S, you will not be disappointed. Let me know in the comments if you get this camera and uh, if you have any questions about settings, how you do X, Y, Z. I am a pro photographer of 28 years. These cameras, the X-T4 and this camera, is helping me make over six figures a year in my business. And no, it's not full frame. It's just awesome. <laughs> See ya.